Hello and welcome, my name is Parkin, today we're playing some more Spore. You meet me back in the almighty Modivore Empire, where last time we made some major progress towards one of our goals. We placed down another colony, which I suppose you couldn't really call major progress, as it was only one colony. Got a bit of spice here. Now this spice, strangely enough, I'm really struggling to shift at the moment. No one really wants to seem to buy it that much. But look at all these new tools we've got! My god, there's so much here. There's a lot of stuff in my home empire that a lot of other nations don't seem to actually be selling, so I might have to end up just paying the higher prices and getting them from our home empire, but that's kind of okay. We've actually got this spice storage thing, which you can place on a planet to increase the amount of spice that can be stored there, which would be very helpful, obviously. We've also got things like uh, blue ink, green ink, and purple ink. I'm not really sure what they do still. <laughs> also thick black ink. Well, they write messages in the sky, but is it a single use? I have no idea. I assume if it was a single use, it'd have a number in the top right-hand corner, but they don't seem to, which makes me wonder whether they are actually what I'm thinking. But either way, what we're going to be trying to do today is getting enough money together to get the wormhole key. Now, that's not going to be as difficult as it sounds, because the wormhole key, if I buy it from another nation, it's like the one thing that everyone's selling, it only costs one and a half million. Only, I say, inverted commas, because that's actually quite a lot of money. But what we're going to do is we're going to be flying around for a little bit. Oh, wow, look at this. Our red spice is really wanted here. So we're going to sell this over this way. And we can actually go and get the wormhole key straight away. But yeah, it's sold for 1.5 million. I think that might be a good enough deal to do it. Oh, and we've actually just got another badge. The Merchant 4. You've traded 10 million spore bucks. We've got a large cargo hold, large health. Oh, nice. Have we actually got the large health already? Not really sure. Spice storage and thick black ink. We've already got a few of those things. Got an incoming transmission, though. Let's go and see what they're up to. Hello! Um, we feel your economy will be enhanced by a gift of 10,000. Oh, lovely. That's very kind of you. I feel quite kindly towards that blue nation now. I was actually thinking about wiping out one of these home system empires, but to be honest, if they're being nice to me, maybe I won't destroy them. Hello there. I want to buy a wormhole key. And there it is. It seems like a bit of a frivolous waste of money right now. But is it, though? Because then we can go and explore other parts of the universe. No, we're just going to do it. There we go. Got the wormhole key now, which will allow us to fly through these black holes. Oh, yeah. Right, so this is actually progress, believe it or not, because we have no idea where these wormholes are going to take us. They might take us near the centre of the galaxy, which would obviously be a very good and helpful thing. So we're going to get rid of this pink spice. We've got, got no money left, which is going to be a bit of a problem. But if we just carry on collecting the spice every time we go back to our home planet, we should be okay. Okay, so where is one of these black holes? I think there's one over here. Here we go. Where does this go? Let's go in. Venture forth into the unknown, Captain. It's like an episode of Stargate. I think I've said that before, this, this loading screen. Okay, where are we this time? SP3650 something? That even sounds like a planet that they name in Stargate. But okay, where are we? Oh, holy shit! Look how close to the centre of the galaxy we are. Could we just get there now? Well, that's going to be the Grox. Shall I go and say hello to the Grox or not really? They're not really aware of me right now, so maybe I won't do that. It's actually an empire here. Ah, this would be the Grox as well. Okay, well, we at, least, at least we know what we're in for. <laughs> Ship unknown, identify. I come in peace. We distrust strangers minus 70. You remain peaceful until we order you to war with our enemies. It is an honour. Um, diplomacy. I'd like to know about your race. What foolish mortal designs to seek countenance with all powerful and extraordinary Grox? How dare you disgrace us with your meagre and lacklustre presence? We care not to breathe the self-same air that you have poisoned with your noxious aura. After I spend some time berating you, the expectation will be that you begin your exodus out of our system post-haste. I feel the need to cleanse my very eyeball. Haha, <laughs> because you've only got one eye. He's like a pirate, space pirate! After having soiled my retina with the ghastly vision that is your form. Be gone, O oh foul and unsightly trespasser. Don't let the gravitational pull of our planet hit you in the backside on your way out. That's fascinating. Thank you for sharing, Grox Empire. It's lovely. It's possible that you might be of service. I don't know whether I want to actually make friends with them yet. What's this? The Traveller 3 badge. Wormhole key unlocked. Ultra health upgrade. And purple ink. Fantastic. Okay, well, they're still very not happy with us. But at least we know we've discovered that this wormhole literally goes almost to the centre of the galaxy. So it shouldn't be too difficult for us to get there when we actually want to try and do that. Yeah. Okay, apparently alien ships are raiding your cities on planet Chelchibok. 
alien hostile ships. It's probably the Groks, isn't it? It wouldn't be surprising. Okay, what we need to do now... I don't know whether that was a bad idea to go there and speak to the Groks. Probably was. But we're going to go here. Please hurry. Okay. Unfortunately, we have now alerted them to our presence. So if this is the Groks, we're going to be a bit screwed. What we need to do, really, is put down some ultra turrets, or whatever they're called. Ultimate turrets on the planet. Looks like these are just pirates, though. So maybe we just got away with that fine. Also, the Groks are quite far away, so I doubt that they would attack me directly. Okay, well, let's take out all the small ships first. Then we'll take out the mother ships, because it's only going to take a couple of hits with these uh, plasma rounds or whatever they're called. I don't even know what these are called. What are they called? Proton missiles. Oh, yes. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Let's go over here. We're going to... It looks like the city's defences are actually defending absolutely fine. Glad I put all of those turrets down now. Probably would have regretted not doing that if I... Hadn't done so earlier on, but there we go. Destroyed all these ships. We're going to take all their money as well, because this might help us on our way to the next sort of upgrade of stuff that we want. Hello there. You're a true hero. We didn't, wouldn't know what we'd have done without you if you hadn't shown up. No problem. Uh, have you got anything I want? Not really. How much is the health upgrade? I can't even spot it in here. Have you even got the health upgrade? Oh, we'll take all your pink spice, though. I might be being dumb, but I can't see it anywhere. Maybe they're not selling it here. We could go for a large cargo hold, not very useful. We could also go for a Plasma Infermo Napalm, which I really want to find out what that is, because it sounds incredible. But aside from that, there's not really anything else here that I want. could sell our Red Spice, but again, not really, not really a necessity. So let's now exit this star system. Okay, so what is the next thing on our list? One thing I would like to look at is our collection of stuff. Now, we've got a lot of badges. There's a few that I definitely want to aim for. Uh, most notably, that would be the Conqueror, because that would give us the Uber Missiles. Actually, is that what we want, or is it the Colonist? Uber Turret, col the Colonist. Okay, so we want to put down a load more colony buildings. Extreme Health also unlocks the Mega Bomb and Antimatter Bomb. I think that would probably be the one we want to go for. Of course, one other thing we could go for... What, where's the... Is it Golden Touch? Six badge points? That won't give us anything. Frequent Flyer is useful, but again, that's not really going to unlock anything. Okay, so what I think that we're going to do is we're going to start placing down loads of colonies today. And that's mostly just to get the colony buildings. I'm not really bothered so much about doing it on other planets, if you see what I mean. Like, I'd like to bolster this one first, if we can. And I think... Do we actually have one in inventory, or is that just... Empty. If it's empty, like my soul, then I won't do anything. I oh, know we do have one. Okay, well, we'll put down another colony on this planet, because it's pink spice after all. It's going to be quite useful. I don't know whether if you have more planets of the same spice type in your empire, does that then reduce the price of that spice? I'm not really sure. I don't think that's really how it works. By the way, is there another bit of money down here that I didn't grab? Looks like there might be. Over this mountainside... Ah, yes, look, it's hidden in the rock face. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to place down another colony here. Now, you might be like, well, there's not many spice geezers here, but if we place these cities closer together, then it's going to be much harder for enemy empires to attack them, especially if we've got lots of turrets placed down. And also, the other main reason for this is I'm going for that other um, badge, which is going to actually get us to the next level of the Galactic Promotions, and also it's going to allow us to get some of the really cool stuff that I really, really want. Okay, so we're going to put down a few turrets. I think turrets are definitely the priority, first of all. So we're going to put down as many of these as we can. It's eating into our money quite a bit, but I think it's going to be worth it, especially if we get that badge. And I think these turrets do actually count as uh, buildings as well on colonies. So either way, we're going to put a factory like that, a building house like that. We're also going to put down one of these here. I think that's all we can put down, is it? Oh no, we can put down another one of these to raise the happiness. There we go. Perfect. Is that enough? I don't think that would be enough buildings. How many have we got now? Let's have a little look at this. The Eco Hero Diplomats Colonist. Here we go. So 56. 120 buildings is actually quite a lot, isn't it? I've just realised. That does seem like quite a high number. Is there any other way we can get this? Is it the Conqueror Uber Missiles? Is it Conqueror 5 that we need? Conquer 25 planets. We could go and destroy some people. I suppose that's something we could do. We could go and just wipe out another civilization. You know what? Fine. Whatever. I tell you what, I'm not going to sit here debating all day. I'm just going to go and attack someone. So we're at full charge. We've also got a few nations around here that I would like to wipe out. Have we got any planet altering tools? 
We do indeed, so we can take out a few planets. The one nation that I want to get rid of are these ones over here, the pink nation, because they're scary, and hopefully they haven't spread anywhere else yet. But if I can wipe these guys out, then it's going to make for a very good time for me. Okay, is this the, where's their home system? It's like they've got two home systems. Let's go here first, because this might be their home star. Is this it here? Could be. There's only one planet here, though. And it's yellow spice. It seems unlikely. I don't think default starting planets do yellow spice. I think they're always... Hmm, yeah. Okay, well, let's go and start attacking these people, because you know what? CBA waiting around. I want to start killing peeps. So let's get our just a bomb out. It's just a bomb that's going to wipe you off the face of this world. Okay, so let's wipe this city out. There you go. It instantly went. I think you get a bonus for the first city that you attack, so it does it a lot quicker. I think that's the thing. I'm not really sure now I've said that. But we're going to take out this other city. Luckily, with our improved weaponry, it's not taking us too long to do this. But now we've done that, we've actually got a new badge. What is this? The Warmonger 3 badge. That's given us an upgrade. A galactic promotion. What are we going to be called this time? Congratulations, you've earned the title of The Legendary. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, we're not taking any shit, we're just going to go straight to their next colony, start wiping out them. It doesn't even really matter if they've got two colonies on each of these planets, because, well, our firepower is so great that they have no chance whatsoever. We don't even have any allies in our, in our pack, as it were. But... It's okay. They don't really tend to do that much anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our main bomb out. Ah, this is their home planet. Okay then. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a few meteor showers. A little bit like this. I'm going to put down a few of these. It's going to take a few to shift this planet into T0 range. If we have a little look. Yes, right in the middle. Okay, so three meteor showers should do it. So once those are all down, we're going to leave the planet. Now that it's being ruined. And we're going to go somewhere else. Oh, it doesn't like me leaving. What's happening? Right, okay. Zyl-L2 is the name of that planet. Very strange name. Okay, so let's now go over here. We're going to get rid of the extreme edge colonies first of all. Have we got any repair packs as well? We've only got recharge packs. We could use one of these though. I suppose that would be useful. And then it doesn't really matter if we die because we can just zoom back here as soon as we can. And then we're going to take out these cities. Right, they've got a few turrets on this one. It's going to make things a little bit harder. We can take it down, though. They'll stop firing at us a lot quicker. So we go. Take it out. Take it out, indeed. Okay, one more hit. This one's dead. Luckily, we're doing 600 damage with each one of these bombs that's being thrown down now, which is making things a hell of a lot easier for us. Seems like there's another city here. They've got the lasers, which are kind of annoying, because they start pushing you away quite quickly. And we got destroyed, but we also took out their, their city, so that's fine. Okay, so we're returning onto our home world now. Let's escape this cutscene. We're going to head straight back over to that other empire. I don't like the pink nations. They're the colour of... Actually, I was going to say they're a very friendly colour pink. But did you know, I bet you didn't, that the colour pink in history has always been the colour of boys. And blue was always the colour of girls. It's only recently in modern society that the colour pink has been related to girls and the other way round. Because it was always seen that the colour pink was like the boys' colour and red was the men's colour because it was the colour of blood. So yeah, that's how it always used to be. But not anymore. Interesting fact. This is an educational show anyway. We're supposed to be here destroying alien civilizations. Here we go. Three more hits and this one's down. Okay, so we're going to go right in here. Hopefully we can take out this planet. If they've only got one civilization here, which they don't, which is a bit unfortunate. Seems like these guys have quite a lot of colonies placed down. They've all got quite a lot of turrets as well. But if we can get this onto the white flag range, we can wipe it out before they can hit us with those turrets. We've only got 362 health, which isn't going to be enough to take out this other city. But we can at least try and get off a few good hits on it. Oh no, planet Alcia is having an eco-disaster. Is that one of ours? It isn't. I'm going to let them deal with it. Okay, so let's go straight back. <laughs> Maybe I should actually buy a health pack before I go back to this. Well, either way, we're going to go straight back in here and then hopefully take out the other two colonies and then go for the home star system. This is also going to give us quite a few upgrades, which is very helpful. It's already promoted us once, so hopefully this is going to get us to the next warmonger badge or whatever it's called. If it doesn't, then we can attack a few more smaller nations if we go through the wormhole. 
and maybe that'll be enough. I don't really want to start attacking the Grox at this point in time. We're nowhere near strong enough to be doing that. But here we go, we've got the Conqueror 4 badge, Uber Missiles. Now, is that an upgrade to the Proton Missiles? It might be, but we're not going to find out anytime soon. Let's now go for the other colony, go straight in here. Hopefully this one only has one city in it. I'd be very disappointed if it has two as well, but if it's anything like all of their other colonies, it's probably going to have two, and it does have two. Oh dear. Okay. Well, these people are quite a big nation then. They're quite strong. They've got all these cities placed down, and every single one of their colonies has got two cities. And also, it seems like all of these planets are quite high terror score rating as well, which also makes it a good nation to take out because they've got a strong foothold. Quite a strong spice-creating nation. Here we go. Taking down the defences of this city. Now we're going to carry on shooting the central tower. Only one more hit, and that's another colony down. Unfortunately, we're taking quite a beating. I'm wondering whether we should just go home and repair straight away. Because what realistically, what damage are we going to be able to do if we're just going to die instantly? Oh no! Is there another planet here that is under their control? No, it doesn't look like it. That's very strange. Why is it saying that we've only conquered it? Okay, well, we'll go for the Gorizilia, or whatever this planet's called. Hopefully they've only just placed this colony building down. I'm not really sure whether we took this out already. I feel as though we might have done. Yeah, look, they've already placed down a new one of these. They really want this colony here, don't they? Okay, so let's go back home, get a recharge, and then after that, we're going to go and try and take out the other two planets here. Hello, home nation. The warmongers are back. We're coming to recharge and everything. And we're also going to trade. Do you want any of this stuff? We'll, we'll give you our pink spice, because why the hell not? Uber turret. Place on a plant to provide ultimate defense for the colonists. Oh, so we did unlock it. Okay, so we don't need to do the colonist badge now. And what is this? Rally cool. Rallies your ally spaceships, increasing the damage they inflict. Also got uber missiles. You are uber. Is that our turret, our auto blaster? I think it might be. Uber Missiles, Uber Turret. Hmm. Okay, well, it's all things to think about. Oh, and look, there's the Extreme Health Upgrade. Okay, well, aside from that, we want a Repair Kit, if we can. And that should probably do us. If there's an AoE Repair here as well. I can't even see it. There's so much stuff on these screens. Can't figure out what I need. I'm also going to buy Purple Link, just get it out of the menu. Seems like this is just a one-time purchase, so maybe I should just get rid of these. Oh, there's the AoE Repair. Fine, well, we've got not much money left now, but that doesn't really matter. We'll get some green ink as well. I just feel like I need to empty the the shop front, because I'm getting very lost in what we have and haven't got, and what's actually useful, and what isn't useful. We're actually about to fail the task of the saving the planet from an eco-disaster, but that's okay. Not really bothered about that. Let's see about these planet defences here. Luckily, the home planet should actually only have one city on it, so once we've done this planet... It's not many other defences that we need to worry about. Okay, so let's fire. Fire down. That extreme health would be very helpful. Okay, so that's one city down. Let's go for the other one. Luckily placed right next to that one. Here we go. A few more hits. Defences down. Now it needs to just focus down this central city building, city hall. One more hit, and we're done here. And let's go and take out their home planet. Hello, home planet. You're going down, bitch. Not that you've actually done anything to anger me, but I suppose your existence probably counters that. But whatever. Okay, strange ship has arrived at planet Pizdes and refuses to communicate. Probably going to be the Grox again. Oh god, there's actually two cities on this planet. Okay, well that's fine. We're gonna, we can take a few more hits. But let's just focus this main city down. So yeah, we've got a repair kit. It's actually got two repair kits. So we might want to use one of those right now as we start flying over to the other city. It actually didn't repair us that much, did it? Mega Energy Pack, AoE Repair. Okay, well this might be enough health for us to take out one more city. One more hit. And there we go, the Quinnell's Empire has been destroyed. Look at that. Incoming transmission from the Yobert Empire. Save planet Alcia from eco-disaster. Why are they... Are they angry that I didn't help them? Captain, I hate to trouble you, but detecting some very mysterious on our radar, blah blah blah. Okay, what is going on on this planet though? Kill the legendary Modivor. Oh, Kynes legendary Modivor. I was going to say, what the hell is this? Uh, tragic turn in requires in intervention. I think we'll probably go and destroy their spaceships first that are attacking them. We actually need to do these other two missions. We can colonize three more planets soon. That's not why I keep helping these people. Maybe we should just let that empire kill them, wipe them out. Hmm. 
Well, I suppose this is their home planet, so maybe we should help out. Let's get our proton missile going. We've also got a mega auto blaster turned off for some reason. Okay, where are you? There's a ship over here. So let's start firing at them. I'd like another upgrade to our proton missile. That would be quite helpful. Grox Empire, you're going down, friends. Well, not friends. We've actually met them now. We can confirm they're not friendly at all. God, look at this. There's like a, a real concentration of ships on this side. Actually, there's a small ship here that I can probably take out with a couple of hits. There we go. Let's show them what for. There's another one over here. They're about to escape the atmosphere, but that's okay. There we go. We're actually going to go and help save that planet from eco-disaster as well, if we can. It's all just good friendly points, and it might help us on our way to some badges as well. So there we are. It seems like a good idea in the long term. Actually, we're almost halfway through to the next promotion. I don't know how we even did that. I suppose the higher in the rankings of the badges you go, the higher the chances that you're going to get more points from those badges. So we should help out. Okay, so there we go. Killed one of them. One fatty O animals. Fatty O. Don't question the names in this game. So there we go. Taking out another one of those. There's another couple over here. Oh, we've done it. Wonderful. No trouble at all. Would you like to trade anything? <laughs> don't think they've really got anything I want. Uber missiles. 4.2 million? I think we need to start expanding our empire. Okay, so let's go home. We're going to recharge and repair. And we're going to see if we can get some money together. We need to go and collect our spices from the various planets that we have. We'll sell all of this, I suppose. It's not that much money. But it's all helping towards the total goal. You can get fireworks. Where's that other ink? Just to get it out of there. Okay, I'm going to try some of these out as well. Shall I try it on my home planet? We can write a message in purple ink, because why not? I have no idea what these even do. Oh, you have to fly around, I see. Oh, we're making like a big circle thing. Is that good? I don't know if that's very good. You can also get a thick black ink. Oh god, what the hell was that? That looks terrifying. This is actually a good idea for me to be doing. Ooh, blue ink. Green ink. There's just going to be a load of shit in the sky over here now. What's the other one we got? Yellow ink. Ah. Well, well, I just made a mess. <laughs> well, at least we know what they're doing now. And also we know that they're not just like a one-time use thing. They're just forever. Black ink is forever. Is that like a James Bond film? I have no idea. What we could do is just get a few random other planets in here. We could go for this one, because this has got a pink planet here. We would have to wipe out this civilization, though, the Nikios Empire. Should we do it? Let's do it. Why the hell not? Oh, there's actually a load of artifacts here that we could take as well. Might be worth doing. Be worth a few Sporbaksh. Rubbing my fingers together. Now, where is this? It might even be a planet altering tool, which would be more helpful. Where are you? I can't even see it. What the hell are we looking at here? I literally can't even see what they're pointing towards. Does it even exist? Okay, well, I can't find exactly what they're asking me to get. By the way, it might actually be on the other side of the planet. I'm not sure. Well, let's go and find out what's on this planet instead. Barris. The Barris planet. And I think I might place down a colony here as well at some point, just because this has got pink spice. Although, is it actually worth getting pink spice, or shall I start getting a mixture? of spices, because they might be more helpful if I want to sell them onto different empires. Because as we've seen on some planets, yellow spice is incredibly expensive. Now where is this? Oh, there we go. It was inside the rock. So that's green terror colouring. Well, that's quite a nice one. I like green planets. We've made a nice bit of progress today. We got into the next rank. We've also destroyed another big empire, which is obviously worth something. We've also put down a second city on our new colony over here. The Brown Empire is actually starting to expand quite rapidly. Actually, are they? And what is this thing here? Oh, it's telling us where it takes us. So this is taking us right towards the centre. I can't believe how lucky we are with that. Actually, we're getting in contact with these people over here. Uh, they've given us another 10,000. Why are they trying to make friends with us so much? They're going to attack us. Well, if you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Leave ratings and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.